man ang ginawa ng ating Panginoong Jesus Kristo. Nandiyan pa po ba kayo? So to grow in humility, we must understand, paulit-ulit natin you know, uh, sinasabi, Christ incarnation, na yung eternal Son of God left His glory to take on human flesh. So dito sa ating text, when Paul states that Jesus existed in the form of God, doon sa verse 6, He is referring to His pre-existence before He was born of the Virgin Mary. So sabi dito, uh, who though He was in the form of God, Jesus is not a created being but rather the second person in the triune God or in the uh, Trinity. At katulad ng sinabi ni John sa kanyang opening uh, gospel, sa kanyang opening sa John, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was, He has, He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being by Him, and apart from Him, nothing came into being that has come into being. Pagkatapos, sa mga sumusunod na mga verses, ang sabi doon, And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. At mismo nga ating Panginoong Jesus, sinabi niya sa mga Hudyo, nung challenge siya sa kanyang claims, na bilang isang Diyos, ang sabi niya, Before Abraham was, I am. So, sa John chapter 8, verse uh, 58. So, when Paul states that Jesus existed in the form of God, he refers to that which is intrinsic, yung deeply rooted, yung um, intrinsic, kinuha sa root word na interior, yung sa kanyang kaloob-looban, nasa kanya na. Uh, ano na yon? Siya na yon. Essential na yon to the being of God and to that of His sa kanyang mga attributes. So Paul is saying that uh, Jesus in, in His pre-incarnate state, He shared the essential attributes of deity. So in the beginning, He was in the form of God. He is God before He became or before He came to this earth. At uh, ulit-ulit nating sinasabi na uh, He dwelled in His glory and perfection in heaven. Pero mas pinili pa niya ang magkatawang tao para uh, uh, iligtas ang mga uh, ma mamatay para sa mga tao iniligtas na Diyos. So the next phrase has been uh, variously translated doon sa, sa King James ang sabi doon uh, He taught it not robbery to be equal with God. Ang sabi sa Nasbi He did not regard equality with God a thing to be grasped. Although sinabi rin ni, ni, ni John Calvin na there would have been no wrong done though he had shown himself to be equal with God. Wala namang mali kung sabihin niyang siya ay equal sa uh, Diyos. Sabi ng isang uh, reformer, following the early Greek fathers gives the sense as be humble as Christ was humble. He, though existing before the world in the form of God, did not treat his equality with God as a treasure or a prize to be greedily displayed. On the contrary, ang sabi niya, he resigned the glories of heaven. So Paul goes on to say, he emptied, sabi dyan sa ating binasa, he emptied himself. Jesus emptied himself. Ang sabi sa NIV, made himself nothing. So clearly, God cannot cease to be God. Katulad ng sinasabi ng iba, nung siya ay nagkatawang tao, tao daw siya nun. Iniwan niya yung kanyang pagkatiyos. Hindi siya pwedeng, uh, hindi niya 
pwedeng iwan kaya kanyang pagka-Diyos tapagkat siya ay Diyos. Hindi mawawala sa kanya ang kanyang uh, pagka-Diyos. So, God can assist to be God. And so, Jesus did not, as some have, katulad nga ng sinasabi na iba, na give up daw muna niya yung kanyang divine attributes nung siya ay nagkatawang lupa. But instead, he limited the independent use of certain attributes while on this earth. Of course, in some occasion, in some circumstances, ay naipakita rin yung kanyang attributes, naipakita yung kanyang uh, glory. Di ba? Doon sa Mount of Transfiguration. At pagkatapos, nung uh, doon sa uh, lugar kung saan yung mga sundalo, doon sa garden, ay nangatumba nung kanilang, uh, nung medyo nag-flash ang glory ng Panginoong Jesus sa kanila, sa John chapter 18, so verse 6. So Paul explains that the main sense of how Christ emptied Himself dito sa, in the rest of verses 7 and verse 8, is by taking the form of a servant and being obedient to death on the cross. So nung sinabi ni Apostol, uh, nung sinabi ni Apostol Pablo that Jesus took on the form of a servant dito sa uh, verse 7, he means that he voluntarily adapted the very nature of a servant. So nung siya ay nagkatawang lupa, walang nabawas. Ang nangyari, may naidagdag sa kanyang pagiging Diyos. Ano ang naidagdag? Yung kanyang pagiging tao, pagiging servant. So hindi na wala yung kanyang pagka-Diyos. Nilimitahan lang niya ang kanyang sarili na gamitin yung kanyang mga, uh, mga attributes. Pero sabi natin kanina, in some occasion, ay naipakita rin ng ating Panginoon ang kanyang glory. Because meron siyang purpose eh kung bakit siya nagkatawang lupa at para na uh, mag-shed ng dugo at iligtas, uh, bayaran ang mga kasalanan ng mga iniligtas ng Diyos. Nandyan pa po ba kayo? Jesus' human nature was exactly like ours, except that it was joined to a divine nature. Nandaan po natin, it was joined not mixed. Okay? It was joined, not mixed, nor blended. Uh, sa kanyang, uh, and, and it was without sin. Uh, although his body was subject, syempre, sa mga results ng, ng, uh, ng, ng fall, katulad ng weariness, aging, at katulad din ng uh, Bandang huli, yung kanyang kamatayan. So when Paul says that Christ was found in appearance as a man, sa so verse 8, and being found in human form, being found in appearance as a man or in human form, he means that if you had looked at Jesus, you would not have thought that there is a superman. Or he is a member of the Justice League. Uh, na, uh, what? Iba, iba to. Kakaiba ito. Alien. Hindi ganon. Katulad din natin na uh, uh, tao. Well, hindi nga lang pango. Uh, dahil uh, hindi pango yung kanyang kung saan siya pinanganap. Uh, kita mo naman yung mga Israelita. Ah... Uh, mga hudyo, uh, magagandang uh, tao. Magagandang tao rin naman yung mga uh, Pilipino. Ang nangyari lang, yung Israel ang Apple of the Eye ng uh, uh, ating uh, Diyos. So, huwag naman tayong maiinggit dahil uh, 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 though the Israelites was the apple of his eye, he turned his uh, eye on us later to us uh, Gentiles. 
pagkatapos niyang makipag-deal sa mga Hudyo. At huwag ding, huwag ding pakakasiguro ang mga Hudyo na ngayon nasa hintil na ang tuo ng ating Panginoon. Babalikan din niya yung mga Israelitang yan pagdating ng panahon. Uh, uh, when the fullness of time uh, comes according to the uh, Bible. So, salamat tayo dahil uh, sa, mama, sa malawak na biyaya at pag-ibig ng ating uh, Panginoon. So, hindi siya katulad ng pagtiningnan natin, hindi siya katulad ng isang alien o superman. Uh, there, he is a normal looking man. Born into a family as a baby, grew to maturity as we all do, and, and, and in every other observable way was completely human. So, ang pinapakita dito ni Apostol Pablo is that the Lord Jesus went from the highest place in the universe down, or in highest place in the universe as eternal God take on human existence at siya ay uh, nagpakababa as lowly as a servant. Sabi pa nga ng iba, uh, mas mababa pa sa servant yung kanyang so yun ang kanyang uh, uh, the humility in the incarnation so to grow in humility we must understand Christ's death that it was a shameful death unimaginable so his death was a, was not a noble death but as but is a horrible death uh, like that of a common criminal. Sa para sa mga Hudyo, whoever was hung on a tree was a curse of God. Deuteronomy chapter 21. At para sa mga Gentiles, death by crucifixion was the lowest and the most despicable form of death imaginable. Para naman sa mga Romano, ang pag, pag hang sa'yo doon sa krus ay pagpapahiya sa'yo, katulad ng nabanggit natin ang mensahe natin ng mga nakaraan. Kaya kahinahang sa krus, pinapahiya ka. At nakadesign yon na hindi ka mamatay agad, kundi dahan-dahan. Para sa bawat araw, bawat oras na lumilipas, na ipapahiya ka sa mga taong uh, dumadaan. Kaya nga walang mga Romano na pinapako sa krus. At that time, they were exempted. Uh, hindi ko lang alam kung exempted sila sa pambabato. Uh, pero doon sa pagpapahiya, uh, bago mamatay, exempted ang bawat Roman citizens. So to grow in humility, we must allow the truth of Christ incarnation and death. We must allow the, the truth of Christ's incarnation and death to affect the way we act toward one another. So dito na natin pinapasok yung, yung uh, uh, nais, nati, nais nating mapansin ni Paul. Nais ni Paul na mapansin natin na uh, relation ay yung relasyon ng mga tao ang kanyang pinapatungkulan dito. Na, uh, at ang kanyang binibigyang halimbawa ay yung pagpapakumbaba ng ating Panginoon. In our day, humility is hardly ever emphasized as a Christian virtue that we must pursue. Dahil sa kapanahonan natin, you must be tough. Diba? In order to survive, you must be tough. Being humble is is a sign of uh, cowardness. Yan ang itinuturo ng sandibutang ito. You must be tough in everything. So, hindi na-emphasize yung uh, Christian virtue na kinakailangan natin i-pursue. Pero salamat sa mga churches sa mga mga pastors na nagtuturo uh, ng mga bagay na ito. 
Uh, di ba? In fact, sabi dito, we extol the opposite. Self-love as a healthy quality that we need to work on. Sabi sa Calvin's Institutes, minention niya doon si Chrysos Tom. Well, hindi ko siya kilala. Sabi lang siya isang church father. He viewed humility as the foundation of Christianity. Of course, like what our Lord Jesus Christ did. And how Augustine said that the precepts of the Christian religion, first, second, third, and always are humility. Ang hirap isipin, di ba? Pastor, describe nga at explain nga ano yung humility. Up to what extent? In our modern day. Di ba? That full of, uh, alam nyo na, di ba? Uh, tama si Brother Calvin nung sinabi niya na that due to the fall, self-love is innate in all humans. Sabi nga niya, uh, we are quick to listen with applause to anyone who extols human nature in favorable terms. Diba? Pag tayo pinapalakpakan, pag ang tao ay pinapalakpakan, pumapalakpak din yung tenga. That's me, that's me. I did that, I did that. Uh, so, nawawala yung uh, glory that is due to our Lord Jesus Christ yung iba napupunta sa uh, tao. Granted then that we must pursue humility, what does it look like? Di ba? Christ's humility, wala tayong ibang pagbabasihan kundi yung humility ng ating Panginoong Jesus na tinuro niya sa atin dito. So, uno muna, true humility is a pr proper attitude towards self. That results in proper action towards others. So, true humility is a proper attitude towards self. Tapos, na nagre-resulta ng proper action towards others. So, have this attitude in yourselves. Diba? Uh, ang Panginoong Jesus, sa nga mismo, hindi niya naisip, well, I am the eternal God. Hindi ko na kinakailangang maging serpent. Hindi ko na kinakailangang mamatay. Pero hindi yun ang kanyang inisip. So ang tanong, sino tayo? Na according to the scriptures, we are rebellious sinners at heart. And have gone our own way and despised the God who created us. But dahil sa undeserved favor ng Diyos, we have become His children through faith in Christ. So by grace, He has forgiven all our sins and made us members of Christ's body. At pagkatapos, He has entrusted us a spiritual gift to use for His kingdom and glory, not our own glory. And as, as, as a result, we have the great privilege of serving others for Jesus' sake. Diba? Salamat sa mga, uh, mga gifts na binigay ng Panginoon sa atin by His grace, though we are uh, not deserving, eh, magagamit natin yung mga binigay niya sa ating mga gifts as a privilege na makapag serve sa lahat sa ngalan ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo. So, true humility means lowering myself to lift others up. Yun ang isa sa mga uh, hmm, sabihin nating uh, uh, supreme na ginawa ng ating Panginoon nung iniwan niya ang langit at siya ay nagkatawang uh, lupa at ipinako na hubad doon sa krus uh, na punong-puno ng pagpapahiya o ng kahihiyan. Of course, it would be impossible for us uh, to go that extreme. Di ba? 
Marami nang gumawa nun, pero pinepeke. Diba? Nagpapako nga, nilagyan naman ng alcohol yung pako. Nagpapako nga, hindi naman namatay. Uh, nung ako'y bata, takot na takot talaga ako dyan. Kahit ngayon, pag nakikita ko yan sa dana kasalubong ko, may, may gulat factor pa rin eh. Pero ngayon, ang ayaw ko na lang, yung matatalsikan ako ng dugo. Diring-diri talaga ako. Pero yung iba talagang tuwang-tuwa. Kasama daw sa panata yun. Na uh, kapag sila yung, yung nagpapalaspas, ay nadaanan mo at uh, na, natapunan ka rin ng, o natalsikan ka rin ng dugo, kasama ka sa pagpapahirap na ginagawa niya. Yung sa akin talagang may gulat factor pa rin. Lalo na pag nakamotor ako. Talaga nahanap ako ng ibang daan. At di bali-mali, ako sa pupuntahan ko, maghahanap. Eh, alam nyo naman, sa Pampanga, ay uh, sikat na sikat yan. Pagpanahon. Talagang, uh, kung wala nga lang, ito parang isang nakakatawa. Hindi, hin, hindi ko pinuporso na magkaroon ng gawain tuwing Lenten season. Dahil doon sa, pinupo, doon sa church namin, Bago ka makarating doon, yung baryo na dadaanan mo, eh ano yun eh? Sarado di kandado yung uh, uh, baryo yun. Talagang bawat uh, ano, may mga pakanta. Tawag doon? Uh, mga pasyon. At uh, syempre, yan ang hinahanap ng mga nagpapalaspas. Hihinto sila sa bawat istasyon. Bakit ba tayo napunta doon? Uh, balik tayo dito sa uh, dati. So, yun. Uh, ginawa ng ating Panginoong Jesus yun. So, it would be impossible for us to go that extreme. Sabi nga. But we do need to lower our view of ourselves so that we can serve others. Uh, true humility yields any rights for the sake of serving others. Ang tanong, Did Jesus have a right not to come to this earth in the humble way He did? Anong sagot? Of course, yes. Sa pangtanong, did He have a right not to go to the cross? Of course. But He yielded all His rights and become a bond servant for our salvation. Sabi nga eh, yung band servant was the extreme bottom of the ladder when it comes to rights. Kung rights nga lang ang pag-uusapan, nasa bandang dulo na yung band servant. Wala nga siyang right. Hindi nga siya dapat ilagay doon sa uh, uh, bandang dulo. Hindi po ba? Uh, he did He didn't have a right to his own time. He didn't even have a right to his own life. Hindi naman ibig sabihin na uh, that we become the slaves of everyone else's desires. Na magpapaka-slave na lang tayo just to show humility sa bawat uh, uh, isa na, na hinihingi ang ating pagpapa. Kumbaba, true humility serves others in obedience to God, not to anyone else, even at a personal, or not only personal, even at a great personal cost. The cross was painful beyond description para sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Hindi lang yung, yung sakit na kanyang uh, naranasan, Uh, but because he who was totally without sin endured the, 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 the wrath of God, yung galit ng Diyos by becoming a sin for us. Diba? Sabi doon sa 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20. So any personal cost we have to bear in serving Christ is nothing by way of comparison doon sa ginawa ng ating Panginoon. Diyan pa po ba kayo? Katulad ng sinabi ni Isaac Watts, Love so amazing, love so divine, demands my soul, my life, 
my own. Parang alam nyo ba yata yung uh, tono nun. So in conclusion, Maga-aga tayo ngayon. Kung nagkakaroon man tayo ng friction about our relationships, whether at home or at anyone else, chances are, sabi dito, you need to grow in humility. Tama, di ba? Uh, di ba? If we are experiencing friction sa ating mga relationship, uh, whether at home or anyone else, chances are, you need to grow in humility. Katulad ng uh, sinulat ni C.S. Lewis, Pride has been the chief cause of misery in every nation and every family since the world began. Pride always means enmity. It is enmity. And not only enmity between man and man, but enmity to God. Katulad ng sinabi rin ni Brother Calvin, the practical application ng ating text, text to, Since then, the Son of God descended from so great a height. How unreasonable that we, who are nothing, should be lifted up with pride. But the fact is, we must fight pride all our lives. Sa pangalawang stage ng conclusion, kanya-kanyang stage yan. Uh, pag sinabi ng pastor na dito na tayo magtatapos, hindi ko naman sinabihin, huwag kayong, huwag kayong maniwala. Patapos na yun. Uh, ang ibig sabihin, maybe 30 minutes more, one hour more, or uh, five minutes more. Noong 1985, meron daw isang Spanish bullfighter na na nagkaroon na, na gumawa ng uh, tragic mistake. He was a Spanish bullfighter. He thrust his sword a final time in the bull. Tinarak sa kabambahan kasi tinarak. Tinusok niya ng uh, Spanish bullfighter na ito for the last time yung kanyang spada doon sa bull which made the bull collapse. So, thinking that the bull was dead, the bullfighter turned to the crowd and to acknowledge the applause. Diba? Nung naitarak na niya, bumagsak, tumingin na siya sa mga tao, palakpahan na uh, yung mga tao. But the bull was not dead. It rose and lunged at the back of the unsuspecting matador, the bullfighter, piercing his heart with his horn. Anong nangyari? Deaths. Sabi niya, sabi dito, pride is like that. Just when we think we've conquered it and we turn to accept the congratulations of the world, of the crowd, pride stops us in the back. So what's your back? And what's your pride? So have the same mind in you which was in Christ Jesus. Do nothing from selfish or empty conceit, but with humility of mind, let each of you regard one another as more important than himself. Do not merely look out for your own personal interests, but also for the interest of others. So that's the way toward harmony. That is the way uh, that we can achieve harmony in our church and in our homes. The example of the humility of our Lord Jesus Christ in His incarnation. Tayo pong lahat ay ito din. Tayo manalami. Nakilang Diyos, maraming maraming salamat po sa pagtatapos ng pagpapahayag at pakikinig ng iyong mga salita. Salamat o Diyos sa isang halimbawa na ipinakita mo sa amin uh, kung paano ipakita, ipamuhay ang kapakumbabaan. Thank you Lord na uh, 
wala kaming magagawa na maikukumpara sa mga ginawa mo. Subalit bilang tao, kami ay tinuturuan mo na, na uh, maging mapagpakumbaba, hindi lamang unahin ang aming sarili, kundi ang uh, aming, uh, ang bawat isa na nasa aming paligid. And as we continue na nandito sa mundong ito, O Diyos, salamat sapagkat tinuturuan mo kami ng mga Christian virtues na ito na, na hindi na nare-recognize ng karamihan sa aming mundong ginagalawan. Uh, so, dahil ang tinuturo sa amin ay kinakailangan kang maging matatang, kinakailangan maging matapang, kinakailangan maging palaban sa lahat ng bagay. Subalit so, iba ang description mo ng mga bagay na ito. Thank you, Lord, that uh, we understand it, we understood it biblically kung paano mo itong pinapagawa sa bawat isa sa amin. In, in a biblical way, in your way, na hindi sa way ng mundong ito, O Diyos. Maraming maraming salamat po itong aming kalangin.